On to other news now, the satellites launched by the Indian Space Research Organization earlier today have been deemed unusable. The maiden small satellite launch vehicle that was carrying the satellites lifted off smoothly from the launch pad of the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Surakota, but the mission did not reach its intended destination. The Indian Space Research Organization announced that the satellites deviated from a circular orbit and were placed into an elliptical orbit. The organization earlier reported detecting some data loss at the terminal stage of the launch, but it has now declared the satellites unusable. The velocity trimming module in the launch vehicle, which inserts satellites into their desired orbits, is being cited as the cause of the failure. The velocity trimming model did not fire in the terminal stage of the launch and caused deviation in the objects. Now, uh, the failure marks the loss of two big satellites, the Earth Observation Satellite and the Azadit Sat, which uh, was designed by students from government schools across India. This is the second loss for Israel in a year. The organization has announced that it will set up a committee to review the failure. For MOTR, mobile MOTR, switch on radiation. P4 radiation on. Now for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Chennai. Listen in. The first ever flight of India's small satellite launch vehicle has ended up unsuccessful after a failure in a sensor was detected. In fact, this failure took place during the last mile delivery phase of the rocket. In simple terms, it was during the last couple of minutes of the operation of injection of satellites that this problem was detected. And this is what caused the mission failure eventually. ISRO Chairman Dr. S. Somnath has said that what caused this failure was a sensor issue and uh, issues with its related computing. So what has taken place is that during the final phase of of the rocket's flight, it is supposed to inject two satellites, two passengers into a precise orbit. That is a 356 uh, kilometer orbit around the Earth. So basically at this particular orbit when the satellites were supposed to eject, what happened is because of an anomaly, the satellites were ejected into an orbit which is elliptical in nature and not circular. So the satellites were uh, ejected at a farthest point of 356 kilometers from the Earth and a nearest point of nearly 76 kilometers from Earth. So what this means is that this is an unstable and unsustainable orbit. Orbit. So the satellites eventually become unusable, with, thus rendering this entire mission a failure. So what has happened is that ISRO has looked into this issue and Prima Facie identified the problems, but they've also assured that they look into this issue further to ensure what was the root cause of it and if there were also other causes to this issue. And ISRO has also assured that they'll bounce back from this particular setback and get back to launching the SSLV on its second developmental flight to prove the vehicle's worthiness and prove the vehicle's efficiency because ISRO pins huge hope on this vehicle and its potential as a commercial launch vehicle in the small satellite category. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP, We On, World is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.